Hello, hello, hello. My name is Zeep. You're watching Zeep Nation, and today we're playing Clicky Coven. Um, seems like a very cute, uh, small indie game that uh, the developer actually sent to me. Um, looks like a fairly new developer. I've only seen one other game on Steam by them, but it it looks cute. Um, yeah, I I think I'll do the tutorial. I played a little bit, but I kind of like breeze past it. Okay, so basically. So you gather ingredients, right? You do that thing. And then you come over here and you... You stir it. And then you make some potions, right? Right, right? You following me? And then you go over here and you sell your potions. But, we can go up here and we can, uh... We can buy some people. As you do. As you do. And we can actually automate some of this process. So it is... Very much an idler. Two's probably fine for right now. Did I click on skip tutorial? I definitely might have. Um, but yeah, it's, uh... It's very simplistic. Yeah, I see what they're going for. It feels very much, um, like Idol Colony. I feel like they're taking some inspiration from that game. But all in all, it's, uh... It's wholesome. I like it. Oh. Oh, I created my first fond. Okay, cool. So, create fond by filling the cauldron with the, an amount of ingredients for a while. Uh, when this is maxed. This right here, this bar up here, is, uh, tells you how much, how many ingredients you have. Uh, use fond to purchase more upgrades for your coffin. So, I think I'll do that. I think haggling was the best upgrade that I found because it, it basically doubles. It gives you like a 10% chance of like doubling your stuff. Which is always super awesome. So it's... Trying to find a balance right now of exactly what I need to do. So, making potions right now. My tower needs to be higher. Need more... More indentured servitude here. I could actually speed up the their process here. So it it's it's mostly manual for the first first few minutes for sure. Although we're selling potions at a pretty quick rate, we might just be able to keep the potion selling manual and probably upgrade the potion making process. Okay, so now we stir 5% faster. Not really sure if you can tell the difference, though. What do I need to upgrade? Probably the house, right? Like, having having more witches do my bidding is probably the right way to go here. How much do I need? 51 for that? I can do that right now. Uh, let's get a couple more vendors working here. And right now, the vendors can only sell one potion at a time. Hopefully, I can get $100 before... Boom. So, those ones are still selling one at a time. But the next guy is selling two. It doesn't feel like... It's, uh... Incrementally gapped right now. I mean, we're still pretty early game. So now that guy should be able to sell three, but hopefully if we can sell a couple more... Now we should be able to sell four. Yeah, I mean, pretty basic game, but like, it feels good, you know? Big number go up. I mean, that's really, uh, the whole point of these incrementals, right? running out of materials, but not very fast. I'm wondering... A hundred bucks. I can probably increase my batch size by one. Boom. So now do I make two potions per, per stir? Maybe. I can't really tell if that's faster or not. 
I'm led to believe that's faster, but I'm not really sure if that's actually super worth it, you know? Now this game is not out in full yet, um, from what I saw it looks like it's going to be fully released uh, early December, I think like December 10th or so. Um, and if that is the correct date, and it might not be, don't don't uh, take my word for it. That's uh, 10 days before my birthday, so maybe it's a... Uh, could be like an early gift for me, who knows. Let's see, so... I think the cell size is probably the right way to go for right now. I mean, cell speed would also be super beneficial. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's a noticeable difference now. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking if we can get more witches to just like pump up potions, like probably as fast as we can fill the cauldron. That's probably the most optimal early game thing to do here, right? Oh yeah, that's a decent amount of money. Okay, so that's working on that. That's giving us more fun right now. This is how many times a brewer must stir a cauldron to brew a batch. Let's let's increase stir speed first because that seems to be cheaper. Is there a way to increase cauldron capacity? Because I feel like that's probably the way to go here. Because I mean, fond is good. I don't really see a huge purpose for it right now. I mean, it looks like we can only gather ten fond total. For the demo. So we're at almost 300 gold. I think that's that's probably our biggest bottleneck right now is getting potions out there faster because as soon as these guys come by, yeah he's gonna take most of our potions that we have in stock so far. So Let's lower the stir count down by one. Any second now we should hit 500. Boom. That feels faster, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's faster. Increase this a little bit more. Sell a little bit more, and then how much? Let's buy a couple rooms. Yeah. Let's get some more witches on here. Awesome. Six. Let's put them all on potion making. And then... Batch size. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's uh significantly more. But then it slows down. Okay, give me a second. At least we're hovering around 80, 70. So it's significantly more potions stored so far. So now... Now the bottleneck is switching more over to our, our merchants, our selling speed. I think... I think we're on a good track. Yeah, look at that. Let's actually increase these a little bit more. Get bigger batches. Because ideally I want... I want the potions in storage to just be absolutely overflowing, right? And then we don't... Because the selling speed is... I feel probably less important than how fast we can actually make the potion. Is that an insane thing to say? I think that's probably the right course of action, right? Because it's probably easier to... to increase these guys, right? Let 
Yeah, I think the cell size is probably the way to go with these guys. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Could add more vendors as well. Let's add a couple more vendors. Why not? Okay. That should probably be plenty for right now. Yeah, we're sitting at 300 potions. Yeah, let's fix up this bottleneck then. Um, let's see. So that increased by P. Is that pixels? Five pixels per upgrade. I'm currently moving at 30. Okay, that... It doesn't feel like a lot. But they are moving faster. Not a ton, but it's there. Can I increase cell rate by half a second? That doesn't feel like a whole lot. But let's just make the whole number. Yeah, the cell rate isn't doing a whole lot for me, though. I think cell size is really the way to go. Cell size and speed. And maybe haggling if I can keep on get doing that. Okay, I can almost buy another cell size upgrade. Boom. Which isn't a lot, but like that's... That's 15 more dollars per witch. So, I mean, it's not nothing. It's close, <laughs> but it's not, it's not exactly nothing. And I know I could get another, uh, I could get a single witch for the forest to help collect resources, but they don't really feel like they do a whole lot. I mean, like, look how fast I'm producing resources here. Like, this is insane speeds. I think I think I should be fine off just doing this. Although... I could get more wishes, but it doesn't... F it really doesn't feel like a whole great investment here. Yeah, let me just let me just grind and try and get get speed up probably. Yeah, it really just doesn't feel like it's doing a whole lot. Maybe if I can overfill this, I can make one more fund. What is it called? Fond, like fondue. If I can get one more fond, maybe I can Increase the cell rate by 10%, which doesn't feel like... Or, uh, not cell rate, but, uh... Cell profit percentage by 10%. Almost there, and... Ah, oh, they keep on making potions. There we go. That should be working now. Increase haggling. Increase the chance that a potion gets sold for double that original sell price by 10% each upgrade. Yeah, I mean, it's it's better than nothing, I suppose. Uh, we, we're at 1k already, so let's do... Uh, let's just kind of put it all in speed. Yeah, they're moving a little bit faster. How much for another another floor? 800? It's actually not too bad. Consider we jumped all the way to 1,000 just a second ago. Yeah, they're booking now. That's almost... What was that? Double normal speed? Did we start on 40? And this one, not quite. Not quite there. Do I just do sell? 
Trying to find the most optimal strategy here. I think we just need more people. Yeah. Because two more merchants is probably a lot better than selling one or two more items at once. I mean, don't get me wrong, we want to max out everything, right? It doesn't seem to actually give us money until they come back to the potion store. Which makes sense, you know, like... It's money that's on them, not in our... In our coffers, so... That is totally understandable. Okay, we can almost buy another size up. Incremental progress. Yeah, so now they're get, they're returning about 200 or so. So now we can upgrade that again. And we do seem to be keeping... We're not really keeping up with the production, are we? They've blown through all of their ingredients already. But we still have about 500? Yeah. I think they're doing just fine. Sell rate. Sell speed's probably the way to go. 1,300? I can do that now. Get more merchants. Did I not do that? Am I going see now? What just happened? There. There we go. How much is that? Is that 300 each, each witch? Something like that. Yeah, it's just getting more and more expensive for each upgrade. I wish, I wish that the speed was more incremental, like... I mean, it's balanced, I suppose, for an incremental style game. But it's like, just five pixels. <laughs> Her upgrade seems like such a small margin to be uh, upgrading by each and every time. I feel like that's how these games kind of go, right? They're slow at first and then become more and more hectic. Actually, our storage is actually running out pretty quick here. They're really booking it. Let's, uh, dump some more ingredients here. I suppose it would probably be... be beneficial to try and get, like, a... somewhere, like, permanently... in the forest, right? Yeah. What were we thinking, one or two people? Yeah, we can almost afford that. Forge size. Yeah, let's let's max that up a bit. Forge rate, yeah, forge fast. Oh, they do just drop things one at a time though. Maybe I do actually want to do that fund upgrade where it's uh, one throw to drop off everything at once. I think I might have to, really. That means I need more fund. That means I need to be foraging faster and actually producing potions slower. Although we should be able to get this next upgrade at this rate. Yeah, there we go. Cool. 
That's kind of at equilibrium. I think I think my merchants are a little bit slower than potion crafters. So let's just bump that up a little bit here. And probably bump up my cell size as well pretty soon here. Yeah, look at that. Although like once we're once we're at a certain size, like selling 14 items at once versus 15, like it doesn't really matter that much unless you can like mass buy a bunch of upgrades. Yeah, I think I think I would just like to be able to sell these for more than 15, right? Like haggling seems to be working fairly well at just 20% like every now and then we get a 30. Yeah, there's a couple in there just now. But it's like it's it's slow money even for these guys and we're out of potions. Oh, we're out of potions. So now the bottleneck is potion making. I think I can make up for that just for foraging manually though. So that means I probably want to increase potion making. Let's lower the stir count a bit. Okay, so now you just need one stir and the potion's done. Oh, that's fast. Batch size. Okay, that's probably ridiculous. Don't quite notice a difference yet, though. But see, it pretty much seems like anything that goes into the pot at this point gets instantaneously turned into a potion. Which is not really the end of the world, really. And they seem to be keeping up, too. Yes, yes, very well. Yeah, I probably don't need to upgrade this anymore, but I can. So why wouldn't I? Yeah, that's that's pretty much just instantaneous at this point. There's no way my guys are going to be able to keep up with this. Actually, they're they're kind of they're kind of keeping up. They're kind of doing it. Um, could increase speed. I think I need more foragers. I do think I want to increase speed just one more time though. Get a nice number uh, divisible by 10. There we go. Boom. 3,000 for two more witches. That seems like a lot. Yeah, that feels like quite a bit. Oh, and then all of a sudden I have money again. Where are we at? 60. We, we dropped down to double digits pretty quickly there. Yeah, so let's get some permanent foragers on here. I think it's about time. Speed? Yeah, we can increase some speed here. Throwing, what does this do? How far away from your cauldron a forager must be to throw ingredients? Increase the distance by five pickle five pixels divided by X per upgrade. 
Okay. Oh. Cool. That's just max now. 320. I have no idea what range we're looking at for that. I'm not sure if I can... That's pretty far. You know, that's a sizable distance. Probably see about increasing speed, though. How quickly Forger moves increase their speed by 5 pixels per second. Or divide by seconds each upgrade. Um, and then Forge rate how long it takes Forger to find an ingredient. Decrease the time by 0.2 seconds per upgrade. Yeah, why don't you be finding these, uh, these items quicker. Okay, so it looks like those guys are done. Does it, does it take almost a second per item or for total? Because that's a big difference. Okay, that's about half a second now. Increase forge size quite a bit. Oh, and my screen's flashing. Oh, something doesn't love that. Yeah, once you're once you're at this point, I'm not quite sure how I'm supposed to get more fund without just absolutely like full fully investing on more foragers. Yeah, because if I can get three fund, I could get the one throw, which should substantially upgrade uh the bottleneck here. Yeah, we don't really have a bottleneck here. I mean, they're selling. They're selling at a decent rate. I mean, it's not beautiful or anything, but it's... It is what it is, you know? Yeah, 4,000 for two dudes. Yeah, I'm not really sure if that feels worthwhile. Increase speed a bit. I think I think I'm gonna have to invest in the the break time. Yeah, so then the witches the witches would stop actually making the potion at that point, so I could just focus more on making the fund. Make three fun, and I should be able to do the one throw. Hopefully, that would significantly increase my time. But we will see. And I'm back. Um, I. Kind of just left this game to run for about 15 minutes or so, just collecting resources. Um, so our cauldron seems to be keeping up perfectly. We are at just over 2,500 potions. So it seems like I really just need to increase uh, forager speed, really. I mean, cell speed is... You know, there's something to be desired there as well. But, seems like there are rituals here, so let's, let's look into this a little bit. You've assigned your first cultist. Cultists can perform rituals that can be used to enhance your witches for a period of time. Cultists can be sacrificed to earn prestige points. So I need 10. Oh, we're kind of late in the game, I feel. That's, that's a lot of money. Um... Let's see, rituals. These all seem about the same. Forgers move one pixel per second faster for one second per cultist. Unless I have like hundreds, that doesn't seem like a whole lot. So let's actually just go for the prestige point right, right away and see. I can't afford that. I can't, can't afford that in the least bit. 
Okay, so I need four more call sets, so that means two more rooms. 2200, that's a lot of cash. And all of a sudden, I feel like we're... We're in a position again where we have to just kind of like... Leave this to run, right? Again... I feel like this is one of the downfalls for a lot of um, incremental games. Where it's like you kind of hit like hit a wall with progression. It's like, yeah, progression is so fast, and then all of a sudden it isn't. All right, like you have to grind for like actual like a decent amount of time to do like the next step. And I feel like that could have been solved if I knew what I was doing beforehand, and if I just like assigned like ten cultists or something for that right away. But uh is what it is and I will see you again when I have money for more cultists. <laughs> Alright, I'm back again. Um I did end up having this run for quite a while. Um but now we are able to buy a couple more levels of that so we should be able to get enough cultists to prestige. Jump to their death and then we get one ritual point so let's just prestige right away and see what uh what perks we can get guys it looks like there's only one perk right now roommates witches will now have a roommate in the room provides two additional witches per house floor that is built oh and then that tree is off to more options later wonderful I do kind of wish that I could see the... I'm assuming that, the, that this branches off again once I choose it, and I would like to be able to see the other options before I pick that line, so that's just one little tidbit of um, criticism there. But again, nothing too crazy or anything. Um, again, it is just in demo. Full game comes out in December. Like, I like what I see so far, don't get me wrong. It's, it's a nice, quaint little game. Let's see if I can get just a few more bucks here. So it looks like we only need 15, so that's really just one potion. So let's just sell a couple. Get a few levels right off the bat. Or, ooh. Yeah, that's substantial. Oh, and it looks like it's telling me about the fund. Or, fond. Once again, so... To be expected, there are some, uh, some things that could probably be taken out for the final release. So, do I still... Okay, so now it's... I need 20 witches then to prestige again. Which, honestly, we should be able to do fairly quickly. So, let's just put 10 witches on that right off the bat. Is that 70? We can probably sell quite a few potions. Not right now, though. We need money. Oh. Okay. So... Yeah, they're still selling for the same amount, though. Which, again, not the end of the world or anything. Although, since I did just restart... My wishes aren't that quick with making potions, so I could just use this early game to mass-produce Fond. Yeah, it seems to be working at the top right there, as you can see, that's going down. And that does this whole little thing and then produces a Fond. So, honestly, early game seems to be the best time to make that. I'm not sure if that's intended or if that's how it's supposed to go. Oh, that's going down. Interesting. So it looked like that was using ingredients to make the fond, but it wasn't really telling me that the overall ingredients were going down until I added more to the pot. That might be a bug. I'm not really sure. I'm a Kind of just assuming that's a bug. Let's 
Let's see, we'll test it out again here. So that's gonna start doing its thing. And that didn't drop until... Yeah, interesting. So I think I'm updating it every single time I put resources in. So if we can just make sure that this stays topped off, I think we should be in good hands. Yeah. Well, now we got three fund. So, let's buy some more witches. Let's get a forager. We can do the one throw perk for that. Could probably do the tossing percentage too, but don't see that as a huge huge thing that we have to do quite so soon. Could just add more cultists as well. Seeing that we're just made of witches at this point. Twenty brewers seems like a lot. I think last time when I prestige it, I only had ten. So that might be vastly overpowered for what we actually need. But at the same time, it only costs what two hundred for the next floor. Let's see if we can get cell size up at least one. Yeah, we need to be able to sell these faster. I think the best way would just be to add more witches, honestly. How much? 257? And there we go. Let's add four more to that. Hopefully they should bring me back enough. No, they really don't because they're only selling two at a time. I suppose that's one of the issues with the early game progression is it's actually still pretty slow. Now I'll be back in, I'll, I'll give it a few more minutes and and see see what kind of uh, mischief we can get up to here. Uh, whoops, I think I, uh, <laughs> I think I just kind of dissociated for the last hour there. Um, pretty much completely upgraded that. Um, upgraded that quite a bit as well. Everything that I forage instantly just gets turned into a potion and then pretty much instantly gets sold. Um, can't really upgrade the witch house much more at this moment, but I do have enough cultists to do another prestige, so let's do that right now. Do they jump in in a star formation? That's, that's kind of cool if they do. Gold earned quite a bit. Okay, cool. I can begin again. Interesting. So, start run with one forger, brewer, and vendor. That might be nice. Uh, forger start with forge size of three. Eh. How's the time needed for fawn to form? Could do that. Although, one of each would be nice. Oh. Every seventh floor of the witch house creates an extra floor for free. That should be six, but okay. Um, just because witches, right? Uh, this one provides two additional witches per house floor that is built. This is better. I mean, the free one might be nice, but like... I don't think I built more than 14 floors. So this one is for sure the go-to.
I mean, right off the bat, having one forager, one stirrer, and one seller, that's not too bad. Although, he just did nothing on his very first trip. Oh, I, wait, do I always start with money? I didn't think I started with money last time. Might be crazy. Well, instead of sucking a couple more hours of my life into playing this game more, just prestige. I'm gonna call it here. Um, this is a fun game. It's definitely worth checking out. Um, I do care about smaller developers, so like, if you want to show off your game, send it to me. I'll, I'll love to play it. Um, like, comment, subscribe as usual, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. <laughs>